I'll go check and see if they have a room. Ted, wait. What's up? Can we talk about what happened back in Venganza? Specifically, the Kabatskis? Specifically, the picture I found of you and the Kabatskis? Okay, okay, but seriously, let's get inside. Perdido's quiet, but it's not that quiet. It's just deserts. Ha. Huh. Oh, like just desserts. Ooh, how far back there can I go? Aha! Squee! You know what? That one's on me. Mildly proud I found that person. There we go. Uh huh. Your friend went up to the room up there. This wasn't such a weird time, I'd be pretty excited about this. Here? Hmm, must be celebrities or something. I bet that's like Patreon backers or something. Why don't we just try to get some sleep? You said we could talk about what happened back there. Okay, Tiger, fair is fair. What do you want to know? I found this picture. They were your parents? That could be a picture of anyone. Good joke, but not the time. Why couldn't you tell me this? We travel across the country and you can't what? trust me with that? What the hell? And uh -huh. your own parents? Listen, you're angry. I get it. But I don't like to talk too much huh. about my family. And I don't want to sound like an ass here, but it's none of your business. Whatever they owe me, or didn't give me, or how I choose to give it, uh. get it back. And what do you care? You got what you needed, I got what I needed. What's the uh. big deal? What's the big deal? It feels gross, that's what? what the big deal is. That's not what I signed on for. So don't steal, don't rob, go bankrupt, lose your video store, see what uh -huh. I care. Allie, do you trust me or not? The smart answer is no, but I'm not going to do the smart answer because I'm a teenager. I mean, yeah, we traveled uh. across the country. <sighs> Good. I'm not trying to screw you over, Allie. I just wanted to help. I'm sorry, I know. What? So, hmm. what do we do tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow <laughs> we go home. You're a split of this con plus everything you've got on you? What is it? 74,150 for my take on the job, 71,358 for the cons on the way here, 85,508. It's not perfect, but damn. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Hey, kid. Thanks. For what? For trusting me to get us here. <laughs> means a lot. Mm. You did good. Thanks, Ted. You're not so bad yourself. Now get some sleep. I'll be out in the car if you need me. Your ticket home tomorrow is on me. You earned it. How much you want to bet the car is gone? Ted? Ted, where are... Maybe he's downstairs. It's a crime I can't take that hat and use it as a costume. You still here? Shit. Wait. My stuff! The room! Stupid empty box. No, 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 not in here. Not in here? It's gotta be in the vent. That's probably where all my... It's empty. Well, this seems exceptionally cruel. Hmm. Oh, <sighs> come on! What? No! What? That liar! I trusted him! 
I'm feeling so, <gasps> so... Ah! Um... What? Look out of sorts. Out of sorts? Yeah, I'm out of sorts. You seen a tall-ish guy with all my stuff? You mean the one person you're staying with? Yeah. He paid up for the room and headed back up the road this morning. Said to offer you breakfast. I got a chafing dish of cold scrambled eggs and slices of horn if you're interested. What's your name? Hank? Then no, Hank. Can't say that I'm interested in your cold eggs and horn cotton nettle. Suit yourself. He say where he was going? Odds are pretty good he's headed to v Venganza. Nothing the other way but sand as far as I figure. Hmm? How do I get back to Venganza? Honestly, not much way back unless you're hitching. You have a phone? Nope. Can you drive me to Venganza then? Who's going to take care of this crowd if I do that? What do I do? Not sure what you mean, but you're welcome to those eggs that I mentioned before. No, stop with the eggs, Hank. He had everything. I lost a lot. I'm so angry right now. When I get a little hot-headed, I like to go for a walk. I thought you said there was nothing but sand out there. Sand can be good for you. Right. You can always count on the cactuses. Isn't it cacti? It's viruses, isn't it? Statuses? Apparatuses? Weird hill to die on, dude. Can you drive me to Venganza? Me? No, I walk everywhere. Out there? In this desert? Yup, it's good for the bones. Sweats out the booze. Helps me focus. I can always count on the cactuses to give me what I need. Yeah, you mentioned that. Well, looks like I'm going to have to go and murder a man. We can bar You can barely tell we drove over this. Found some additions to your sticker collection in a weird desert. You know? Hey, that one kind of looks like a burblow. What, what do my notes say? It's not letting me check my notes. Weird. Whoa! Oh! Well, that's concerning. No! Rad ghost? I could really use you right now, buddy. Cloud fanny pack. Oh boy, I must be getting dizzy. Ow, why did I do that? I need to figure out where I'm going. I need to figure out where I'm going. Said, trust the cacti. Oh, yeah, now's when I find expensive gems just lying around. Wait, could it be that simple? You know, picking up garbage doesn't have the same appeal right now. Okay. I miss home. And, in a way, corn. Alright, I think I got it. Oh good, in case I need to ward off any bats. Three. You know? VHS tape? Okay, now I really miss home. One, two... I guess this counts as four. Nope, I screwed up. Okay, so this is one. 
This is two. This is three. You know, if I pick, I just know if I pick this up, I'm going to get cursed. But they both look like three. I'd do this one. Okay, that was right. Yes, Cloud, I understand. I need money. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm, I think this is it. Crap! Alright. I've got the basic pattern, I think, but... Even out here, you can't leave me alone? Fool and her gold are soon parted. Got a save icon. That's probably good. Mom? Allie? Allie, is that you? Yeah, yeah, Mom, it's me. How's Juniper? Are you practicing? Is that little jerk Chris there? Are you wearing sunscreen? You sound like you're warm. Drink lots of water. Are you practicing? I... Yeah, Mom, I'm practicing. You can hear the woodwinds in the background, I bet. Don't even know what that means, but I'm glad you're having fun. Are you making any friends? I thought so. Started hanging out with one friend a lot. Turns out he's a backstabbing asshole. Allison Claude Felter Barlow. Language. Who is this friend? <laughs> is it a boy? Mom! What? I have to ask. So what if I'm a little nosy? Do you need anything? Do you need me to send you anything? Yeah, I... I think I need to be honest with you. I know about the store. I know you're in debt. I know business is no good, and I know we're going to have to close. I know we're basically screwed. I know you're worried, and you carry all this stuff around by yourself. I just wish you told me. I wish you would have told me what the plan is. I wish you'd stop treating me like a kid and let me help. And stopped sending me to Juniper and listened when I told you that all I actually care about... Literally everything I need in this very, very shitty world is that store. That store and you. That's it. But you won't let me help and you won't let me do anything to fix it. Now we might lose everything. I will lose everything. Why didn't I tell you what the plan was, huh? That is what I'm going with, yes. Well now, Allie. What good would that have done? Here. What? Allie, I'm sure you've only got a couple more minutes before the heat exhaustion sets in. What? So I'll be quick. Heat exhaustion? There is no plan, honey. There never is. I'm scared out of my wits terrified. That store is all I've got, and I've risked it all to give you a shot that I didn't have. And I'd do it again. Yeah, but what were you going to do if you didn't get the money? Honey, Juniper's expensive. It's more than get the money expensive. I didn't have a backup plan. I knew I'd figure it out. You know why? Why? Because I had to. Because the world sucks. Because if it's not Ricky trying to take my money, it's someone else. But I'm smart. Because it's okay to be scared and not know what's next. We Barlow women can actually do anything, you know? But what do you do when you lose everything? Exactly what you've been doing this whole time, sweetheart. Ask for help. And if you're wrong about someone, just move right on. There are good folks out there. Hey, you still got your head screwed on, right? Yeah? Good. I was worried there for a second. Love you, sweetheart. Call me when you're on your way home. Wait! Mom? 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 Lol B, she wakes. How? How long was I out? Couple hours. 
I tell you, I'd never seen a girl so delirious ranting about videotapes. Well, we've all, right. all got dreams. Oh, that reminds me. Remember when I said we don't get many people driving by here? Yeah. Earlier, you remember when I said it? <laughs> yeah. You know when I said you'd need to hitch to get back to Venganza? Hank. Yeah. Right, sorry. There's a woman out front that's headed back that what? way if you hurry. This is not how you talk if you need someone to hurry. Yes. We're back soon. Wait, is that the sec You look familiar. Well, I... Uh, what? So do you. What? Come on. Is this about mm -hmm. those burblows? <laughs> no, it's not about yeah, those okay. burblows. Something tells me you need a lift yep. to Venganza. You've mm -hmm. got room, yeah. Hop in. I think you and I have a fair bit to talk about. Okay, so. thanks. It's Allie, by the way. Nice to finally meet you, Allie. You can call me Esma. I don't know about that. So how'd you end up mixed up with Theodore uh -huh. Kabatsky? I don't know. He showed up in Lisbon and had some ideas about how I could save the video store. Okay. So I followed him. <laughs> Typical. Oh, what? The old help the forlorn teenager save her mom's business from loan sharks trick? Uh, no. You ever think it was a little odd that he came into town the same time Ricky and Sammy did? Huh? Wait, how do you know about Ricky and Sammy? I've been trying to get something on them for years. They're racket men. They put people like your mom out of business all across uh -huh. the country. Funny enough, your boy Teddy brought me closer than I've ever been <gasps> to catching them. Oh, I think we're past the point where I feel like he's my boy. So are you a PI, a gumshoe? No, I'm a detective. Gumshoe is a whole yeah. other pay grade. Ah, yes, of course. You didn't think it was weird that some slime balls put the screws to your mom to collect on her debts? And at the exact same time, Ted shows up and recruits you to rob his parents? I... He wants to impress Ricky. Been following Ricky and Sammy around for months like a lovesick yeah. puppy. Then he met you. Saw it as a good opportunity to get even with his folks, get a score for Ricky. What? but he didn't want to take the risk himself. Let me guess, he got you to do the big scores, the burblows, the train. You were the one that opened the Kabatsky what? safe, weren't you? Uh, you gotta tell me this next part honestly, Allie. I've got my you didn't eyes. fall in love with him, did you? <gasps> no, that asshole? Absolutely not. Uh -huh. Good, it would just uh -huh. be gross if you did. I don't think you have to worry about that, Esme. You were just friends. Except friends don't rob you. Why don't you get a little shut-eye? It's gonna be a little before we're back in Venganza. I'll probably just stare at the desert some more. Heh. Huh? <laughs> what? I did some crazy yeah. things when I was a kid. I jumped off roofs into swimming pools and been arrested mm -hmm. at rallies. I don't think I'd ever have done something as crazy as what, what you're doing. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll see, won't we? Hey kid, wake Aww. up. We're almost there. Why does everyone think I'm at all capable of sleeping during this situation? It's not a good situation, well. I'll give you that. I just need to look around Venganza, find Ted, and say give me my money back and I won't clobber I you. Clobbering is a good plan, but I don't think it's going to be well, as easy maybe. as that. It's gonna be tough. I've been watching Ted for a bit, and I bet he's bringing that money to Ricky by now. I can't get within five feet of Ricky without him losing his mind, so I need your help. Yeah! Ooh, restraining order? <laughs> what did you do? Did you use your super detective skills and make him afraid for his life? No, I once got so close to catching him that I... Okay. I rap-tackled him and pantsed him in a crowded oh, yeah. mall. He's very nervous of me now. I'm not welcome near any huh? of his properties. Oh. My. Yeah. That is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Anyways, Ricky keeps a penthouse at the top of the casino huckster. My bet that Ted is there. That. We can't just walk into the casino. I need your help hmm? getting inside. Uh, Esma? Hmm? You're a law person, right? Something like that, that no. sure. 
I can't say that my skills are exactly in line with how you might do business. Listen, I don't know if he's gone and sold the DDM property to someone else. I don't know if he's going to try to kill us. I know that we have to try this. I'm willing to trust you if you can trust me on it. But remember, you don't have to do this. All right. No, I do. I got this far. Okay, kid, your call. Damn right. First, though, I'm going to find my stuff. If I was Ted, I would have dumped it somewhere for a quick buck. But if I were you, I would have dumped him back uh. in Malton. Ouch, Esme. Salt in the wound much? Heh. <laughs> I'll be in this coffee shop when you find your stuff. Maybe they have popcorn. I thought that might be the security guard. Okay. Red That's Ghost! Right. We are back and redder than yes. ever. All right, Rad Ghost. Let's find my stuff. You got it, Ali C. No, I don't. That's the problem. Rad Ghost thinks this is dangerously close to bad stand-up comedy. All right. Maybe check the pawn shop? Fine, you're no fun. You think I'm no fun? You should meet my cousin, Boring Ghost. He's a real wet blanket. Hey. You'll pay for that one. Okay. I was figuring the pawn shop would be where I started. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I want to check something. Oh, I don't even have my fanny pack to check. Tell me a story. Story? You seen a tallish guy come in here with a bunch of stuff that looked like it belonged to a 17-year-old girl? Long hair, green jacket, betrayal in his eyes. Oh, yes. A notebook, a fanny pack. I remember them well. Remember them well because it was yesterday, or...? I have the items in this display <gasps> case here. That's it. That's my stuff. Can I have it back? <gasps> I... Don't say you need money for it. I've had a hard Please. couple days. But this is a pawn shop. It's we must uphold the rules of, of commerce. Ah, fine. How much? I can part with it for $300. 300 human ah. dollars? I think I found that fanny pack in the actual garbage. That's just the thing. I love an item that tells a story. I can find the money. Stay here. Where would I go? All right. Ooh. What? I think I literally have no money at the moment. <laughs> Good boy. No. I guess. Come on, just one person with a decent Aww. amount of cash. Aww. Aww. <sighs> anyway. No. Uh, anyway. Mm. How is it that nobody has money? They are seriously just making me oh. pick as many people as possible. That's going to be what I have to do, right? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Mm. Hey, anyway. actually, that should turn into good money pretty quick. That should cover... I think I've done more than $300. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Got a thing again. Interesting. Okay. Well, hmm. fine, here's the 300. But just know I am very disappointed about this hmm. whole situation. Be sure to let me know if you'd like to earn a little extra money on the side. Okay, now I can open it. I have 
22 bucks. What? Listen, since I'm here, you're looking for anything in particular? Today I'm looking for specific items to conjure thoughts of parties, soirees, socials, mm -hmm. salons. I am looking right. to celebrate. Cool, what are you celebrating? That I cannot say. If you can find me four items that create thoughts of celebration, of a rousing fete, a celebratory stipend shall be yours. We'll say 150 per item. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Check the bag, party animal. No, none of this will do. Looking for if party it's supplies. Too much trouble. Items to celebrate with. Find me things like that. Any pack right. looks good on you. Right? Bet you would never would guess I found it in the garbage. Oh no, I would have guessed that. Listen to us, ah. this rapport. Like we could be in some sort of buddy movie. Hm. I'll drive us to Hollywood when you get us inside Ricky's casino. Huh? How am I going to get you in there? Ricky's stoolie, Sammy, is in town somewhere. I know he's got a key or a code or a key code or something. We can use that at the casino hmm. back entrance. Right, should be easy enough. What about your journey has been easy so far? Okay, steal Sammy's key, find you behind the theater. See you in Hollywood, Esma. Meet me in the alley behind the theater when you've got the key code. Uh, uh. Hmm, should I ask this guy for change? Uh. I'm still shy, oh. shy of a hundred. What? There's Sammy. How should I do this? Now I'm gonna do the, uh, ask guy for change. Hey, would you be able to make change? Oh, fine. Can you break, uh, hundred? Sure. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, uh, twenty. Mm, four, uh, me. Mm, uh, hey, did you know the entire stock market is predicated on a completely made up number called the flungus? What? Flungus? Yep, entire nope. economy. Flungus. What yeah. are you talking about? Wait, where was I? Oh, I think I've seen what? this one before, actually. Uh, mm, I'll just do this one quick then. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've done this one before. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh. Like. All right, now I got some walking around money. What does Ricky really? know anyway? I'm the one out here making sure his operations run smoothly. I'm the one shaking hands and kissing babies for him. Not like I'd ever get a thank you. What did that tell me? Sammy's the one out, out shaking hands and kissing babies. Doesn't seem to like Ricky very much. Any disguise stuff handy? Doesn't look like it. Who are you? You think you can approach me? Do, oh, do you know who I am? No one, no, uh, and, uh, yes, wow. but don't worry about it. You're just like the rest of them, Scram. Can't seem to get close enough to pickpocket him. What? I was hoping no to get behind him. Yes. No one knows all the good I do around here, neither. That guy that everyone's celebrating in the bean spirit. Saves a cat from a burning tree or whatever, and everyone gives him a medal. Where's Sammy's medal, huh?
You think you're the one who people trust, Ricky? I'm the one who gets the clients. Videoville? That was me. Sure, we break their legs if they can't pay us back. But I like to think I'm a pleasant force for customer retention. Stealing right from the detective. I mean, hey, when you gotta, you gotta. Wow, this cake I found in the garbage looks disgusting. You know what would be nice? If someone would just say, hey, Sammy, thanks for all you do. That's it. That's all. Uh, he just Please. wants to be appreciated. Maybe also you're very handsome and I like your huh? fashion sense. He's still going, huh? How is it that women flock to you to run their hands through your slick hair and men cower in fear when you walk by? Gross! When I have a child, I hope he grows up to be strong and smart and attractive you just know. like you. That's it. How hard would that be for people? Not sure if I can bring myself to say that. Alright, who should I phone? Huh? What? Huh? What? Hello? Sorry, you've reached Allie's answering machine. Oh, Allie! Where the hell are you? Oh, you know, a little here, a little there. Shut up! I mean, where are you on your cross-country steal-a-thon? I'm in Las Venganza. I may or may not have hallucinated my mother telling me that everything is going to be okay. And I'm trying to break into a casino. To get the deed to our video store back from some gross mobster. Holy crap! All I did today was bike by the bluffs. Oh, nice! Was that cute park attendant working? Allie, that's not important right now! Are you safe? Are you okay? Yeah, I think I'm okay. I kind of got robbed a teeny bit. That is not okay! No, seriously, I'm gonna be alright. Are we gonna be alright? Nice segue. Of course we are, you dumbass. I want to talk about it with you face to face. Is that okay? It's not every day your best friend confesses her undying love for you. I just don't want to... And I just don't want to over the phone. Is that okay? Whoa, undying love is a bit strong. But, yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, okay, go. Win all your stuff back? Succeeded at breaking into a casino? Succeeded not getting robbed, at least? I want to hear all about it. You will, I promise. But not on my answering machine, okay? I think you ate up, like, 50 tapes. Deal. Thanks, Mari. Be safe, and I'll see you when you get home. Aw, so glad that happened. All right, who should I phone? What? Huh? Huh? Come on, Mom, pick up. Damn. All right. Uh. Fine. It's a slightly better coffee shop. See, this one has local heroes in it. Oh, no. She's the one? I just did what anyone else would have done. Ooh, what did you do? Oh, it's so embarrassing. What? Tell me. Well, you know, I... Yeah! I just pushed a child out of the way of an oncoming street sweeper, saving your life and risking my own in the process. Yeah! This was on the same day that I saved the same child's cat from a tree. Huh? Was the tree burning down? It was, actually. What? I put out the fire, too. Real embarrassing. spilled coffee on my metal! Oh, I'm so sorry. Good thing this coffee had gotten cold or this would be a really dark moment for you. Hmm, hadn't thought of that. Why don't you go clean yourself off and I'll find something to dry off the metal. Okay, thanks. Recognition of your outstanding... You know what? I don't need to read that whole thing again. These foil balloons always remind me of the hospital, or like, a birthday at an aunt's house. Make change real quick. I talked to this guy before, too. Uh, what? what? Mm. Uh, mm. what? 
Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, anyway. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. What's my money situation now? Three thirty-one. Really? Remember that big screw up, Ricky? When you lost the loan papers for that place out in West Dakota? Who was it that went out and got new ones, huh? Sammy. Sammy was it. Getting a lot of interesting juice on Sammy. Uh huh. All right. Oh. I love it. <laughs> oh, rad. Crazed and bemused. This was the first movie I snuck out of the store without mom's permission. Uh oh. That's bringing up emotions. I don't think I asked Skype for. Hey, can you make some change for me? Oh, fine. What do you need? Can you break a uh, hundred? Sure. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, forty, sixty. What? Do you know? Did you know Las Venganzas is actually Spanish for the Venganza? Actually, I do remember this. I have done this one before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rad. Uh -huh. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Anyway, no. Excuse me. Do you like talking about the latest trends? Yes, Vicky. We have already spoken about the latest trends. You seriously not remember the conversation? Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you. Aren't you excited about this year's hot periwinkle fashion trends? Not nearly as excited as you are. Are you okay? Yes. No need to worry about me. Hey, usually when I trek across the country and help people with their problems, it pays? What do you mean? Like, has me talking to you about periwinkle on several occasions made you want to, say, reward me financially? Oh! No, not really. Great. Uh -huh. Oh, so harsh of me. I totally never got your name. It's Allie. Amy got it. I never forget a name. See you around, Amy. This is one of the more frustrating exchanges I've had in my life. Yeah, let's do it. She's making that influencer mo- 15?! It's the sticker price that gets you. <laughs> Nothing else to steal. Okay. Wonder if I can talk to him now that I've got the metal. Not on my watch, Buster. Who are you? Watch where you're going. Should I keep spying on him, or should I try to get close? All right. Here, I got you something. Oh yeah, what's that? It's this, this medal for recognition of your outstanding contribution to the city of Las Venganza. Yeah, I, Aww. this, Aww. I really needed this. Thank you. Uh, I made the evil man cry tears of joy. <laughs> you know, this really made my day. Thanks a lot, kid. Don't be a stranger. Yeah. All right. All I right. think I can p pick his pocket, but first, let's turn in what I got. We'd love it if you. Rad. Check the bag, party animal. Hmm. 
Ah, now this we can call a success. A cake, a beautiful birthday cake, all for my celebration. Yep, didn't find it in the garbage or nothing. This will do nicely for the celebration. The way you keep saying celebration, if I find out you're sacrificing someone, I'm going to be very upset. $150 as promised, storyteller. Excellent. You've been very helpful Hello, to me. Foe. I'm still looking for three <laughs> more. You got it. Three more party pieces. Well, uh, Is there anything else in that bag of yours? Yeah. Hmm. A cassette to feature prominently at my hmm, party. Uh -huh. Yeah, Crazy Bemuse is the ultimate party film. Bush parties, high school angst, it's got everything. Mm -hmm. Does it star some sort of radical specter? Cool. He's so nice. I'm so excited you get to watch this for the first time. If you're excited, Storyteller, I'm excited. Here's the 150 I promised you. Good show. You've been very helpful yes. to me. <laughs> I'm still totally looking for two more. Yes. Sure, two more party parts. I... Is there anything else in that bag of yours? Yeah. Hmm. A balloon. Cool. Yeah, good for the party, no? It's my favorite type of balloon, too. The foil kind that feels strange to touch and deflates too early and make crinkling sounds when you bump into them. What? Weird foil balloons are your favorite balloons? They're no one's favorite balloons. Please. I am, as always, an anomaly. Please accept this $150 for your troubles. Excellent. You've been very helpful to me. Well, Still looking for one more. One more celebration-y, party-ish thing. Anything else in that bag of yours? Hmm. Be so no, nice. none of this will do. I'm looking for party supplies, Please. items to celebrate with. Find me things like that. <laughs> Sixteen hundred bucks! Holy crap! Yes, better go tell Esme I got the code. Yeah. Five five eight three. How much guy Okay. Oh, there's the spy spot. Come on, open! 682! 682! <sighs> Stupid shuttle bus. Dropped the wrong bag off. You know, I probably could have guessed that. Ooh. Okay, so I'm checking some hotels. Cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Cheese? Cheese! Ultimate cheese. Huh? Are you? Are you giving me cheese? Cheese! Yikes. Wow, this cheese smells terrible. Is it valuable? I will never forget this. Seriously. I will smell this for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's cute. Got the cheese. This is in his bag. Three numbers? I can open this. I'm sure of it. First number is six. Second number is eight. Third number is two. And hey, it opened. <laughs> Your classic right luggage, wrong hotel yeah. scenario. Cash. Uh -huh. Cash. What? And an extensive collection of bolo ties. 
Wild. Yeah. Solid column. Rock solid. <laughs> I got that. Where might the party supplies be? Maybe Josie's running late. Now Josie, huh? No. I guess. Or not. Figures a beautiful person like that would stand me up. What's Josie like? They said they'd wear a green top, but no green top. Yeah. Hey, buck up. I'm sure they're going to show up any second. <sighs> Who knows? Uh -huh. Maybe I should just give up. <sighs> I'll give them another 10 minutes. Josie, 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 Josie. Uh, before I ask for that guy to give me money, Let's see if I can find this Josie. If I had to guess, I bet she went to the wrong uh, coffee shop because there are multiples. I can't show my face in there. S car going somewhere. Wow. Get it? Because you're standing in front of a French restaurant. But. And S car go means snail in French. I know that! Do you mind? I lost a priceless cheese for a wedding this afternoon, and I'm going to just stress pace until my shift uh. ends. Cheese, huh? I just happen to have this. The cheese! Look, no questions asked. I'll give you $1,000 for it. Please, I can't lose this job. Wow, yeah, I was just going to throw this in the garbage. Deal. Okay, got to get to work. Sweet. Wait, is that the Burbo guy? Burblo? Eat a Burblo! No one can find out! I really hope I find that Burblo to bribe Molly or she'll tell everyone I took her to the casino. Good thing I have that extra 1500 I love how they love to talk about their money. <laughs> Woo! You need a Burblo? I mean for my kid! Hey, you're a kid. Do you have a Burblo you could sell me? I'm a young adult. You think I play with Burblos? You're off by about a decade. Ah, sorry. I just really want to buy one for my kid. If you know someone who has one, tell them I'll pay 500 for it. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. Slick. Well, I know where I haven't been. The pool hall. Yes. Ah, this guy again. Gross. Candles someone slobbered all over. Why on earth am I picking these up? Why am I putting them in my bag? A lot of questions, questionable choices on this trip. Well, that'll be the last uh, party thing. Now, let's right. kick this guy's ass in the game. Yeah. Vic, I didn't think I'd see you again. How did it go? Did you win the contest? Okay. Competition. Okay. Competition? Uh -huh. Yeah, I actually came in first place. No. I had a rough first couple rounds, and this guy that's been following me across the country was right on my heels, score-wise. But I think I just needed to remember that I'm incredible, you know? Uh, that was all you needed to win the competition? I mean, that and literally thousands of hours playing Brad Skater. But sure, I guess a little self-confidence goes a long way. What? I'll be honest, I'm in the middle of a pretty confidence-shaking moment out over here. Huh? A little Rad Skater might cheer me up, though. Come on! Seriously, let me try to beat your highest score possible. Are you sure? It's pretty high. Rad! I can do it, Vic. So. All right, one more time, then I should be heading to the airport home. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna beat your best score imaginable. Yeah. You can beat 
1800 I'm going to be really impressed. I'll bet you a thousand bucks you can't beat it. Impressed because the sc that's the score you used to win the World's Rad Skater competition? Sure. One more time, Allie. Show me what you got. Rad. Eighteen hundreds, no problem. Already done it a couple times. Eighteen hundred, I did it. And without actually losing life yet. So it's getting tough. Oh, finally lost a life. Nice. I almost doubled uh, my target goal. I'm going to stop jumping just because can't be doing this forever. All right. Need to break the habit of jumping. Ah. Uh. time, Allie. Show me what you All got. Right. I did it, Vic. I beat your score. <laughs> <laughs> right on. You did it. You beat 1800. Uh-huh. Here. A bet's a bet. A thousand bucks. Wow. You mean I beat your number one all-time top score, right? I'm the best rad skater player in the world now? Sure. Uh. Come on, Vic. I need to know your best score right now. <laughs> 4,346,789 points. Yikes. What? Yeah. I mean... That was the score I got at the competition. Probably couldn't have done a bit better. Yes. But hey, it's just video games. I never had a chance to beat you, did I? Why did you put up all those bets? I don't know. <laughs> because it's fun to have fun sometimes? You seem cool, and I hustle my fair share of prize money from players when I do these tours. So I thought, maybe you have some fun with Allie. Money isn't everything, you know? Hmm? Huh. Plus, I can tell you don't really need to beat me to prove you're some champion or something. Yeah! Despite traveling this far to compete, I'm not a big fan of people that need to win. I don't need to win. I just like to get what's mine and go home, you know? Yes! Enigmatic Drifter strikes again. Maybe we'll cross paths again one day. All right! Maybe we will. Hey, I never asked. Uh -huh. What was the prize money that you ended up getting? What does the best rad skater player in the world win? Yes! $97,342. <sighs> what? And 18 cents, which I thought was oddly specific. Who knows? Video games, right? Anyways, see you around, Allie. Stay cool. Aww. Ugh. Am, am I in the wrong business for this? That is hilarious. That's the exact amount of money that I needed for... to save the shop. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I don't see any sign of Josie. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish that quest. But I got the last thing I need to give to the man. What? 
Yes. What? Uh huh. Take care, storyteller. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. These appear to be birthday candles. Huh? Yeah, for your party, right? But see, these candles have already been in a cake. The joyous celebrant has already licked the cake remnants off the bottom of the candles. Removing the excess cake from the candle is, sadly for you, my favorite part. Too bad. I'll pay you only five dollars for pre-licked candles. And I tell you, I am still looking for means for celebration. What? Because you can't lick the gross cake batter off them? Fine. <laughs> You've been very helpful to Provo. me. Provo! Yes! Well, I don't uh, think so. Crap, I thought I'd found the last thing. Yes. Alright, I'm going to keep poking around a bit then. I'm getting so many masks. <sighs> Where else could I go? No. Anyway. Uh, anyway. <sighs> no kids in the casino. <laughs> Kid? No, I'm one of those child millionaires you always hear about. Yeah? How'd you make your money? Maybe. Uh, video games? <laughs> Thanks, kid. I needed that. But seriously, no yep. kids. Alright, I get it. No kids. I, uh... Did you find the key card yet? Oh, wow, you did. Not too shabby, huh? Speaking of shabby, we've got everything we need, but we'll get thrown out the moment we set foot in the casino looking like this. I'll meet you behind the casino. The side entrance with a keypad. You'll you find something to look a little more swanky. What do you mean? Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. You'll figure it out. Something to make you not look like a teenager. Got it. See you on the other side, Esme. Oh, brother. I've got my eye on you. I'm gonna check the fancy store first, see if they can help me. I gotta do it, right? Well, that's my first failure. But they will never suspect the mime. I'll ever be, I guess. You look like you know what you're doing, so that's okay. good. If I can fool you, I can probably fool them in there. Not sure if the suit fits you. Didn't exactly have time to shop for it in my size, Esme. Didn't mean to be critical, just meant... Hmm. Never mind. Let's go. This one's for all the marbles. Why does everyone keep talking about marbles?
close. How are you feeling? Woo! That's funny. Uh -huh. What is? I mean, I've been sealing my way blind across the country, yes. and I feel like that's the first time someone's asked how I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, I'm not too great with the emotional stuff. But how are you? Mm. To be honest, a little scared. Uh -huh. Good. Use it. What? Esme, are, are you trying to inspire me? Uh. Whoa. Is this soaring piano music trying to inspire me? I love it when a song comes on just the right time. Anyways, what were we talking about? I can't get anywhere near Ricky. Let's just say he's been seen enough of my disguises. Well, maybe. Pen Penthouse is on the same floor as the High Roller Suite. Yeah, okay. It's a cash-only buy-in before they even let you get to the elevator. Uh-huh. Of course it is. I'm not going to tell you how to get up there, but, well, you know. Cool. It'll be our little secret. Mm-hmm. Hey! Once you get up there, unlock the stairwell door and I can take care of Ricky. Got it. What? Wait, you're going to take the stairs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To the penthouse? I, uh... So? Ooh. You and I are not as alike as I thought. Okay. Go do your thing. I'll keep a low profile and get a snack. Happy snacking. <gasps> Ricky, here I come. Hey, 653 bucks off a single pole? Oh cool, I can kind of see into the slot machines. What a magical day. Hey, founder! Wow. Whoa, hey you two, you did it! <laughs> we thought we already know each other so well from these letters. Oh, wow. Oh, I wait, right? Never would have found each other if it wasn't for you. I... I'm basically a love detective. <laughs> you sure are. We want you to have the 700 we got from putting our first pulling our first slot together. Wait, should I be using these love detective powers for good? Seems like it. See you around, love detective. Nice. Um. Okay, gotten some good money to start yes. with. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. No, this is probably a bad idea right now. I'm not going to get my money, one-armed bandit. This is it. My lucky fool. Oh, hey. Lucky numbers. Lucky numbers. Three sevens. Come on, three sevens. You know, I probably could have guessed that. All right, looks like he didn't see me. Three number lock. What's the combination though? First number is seven. Second number is seven. Third number is seven. And hey, it opened. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, a big wad of money. And a bunch of socks and underwear. I'll leave the socks and underwear. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah. Yeah, right, like I gamble away everything I've made so far. Oh, hello. Hello, other adults. Hello? Okay, just just play the slots. No one will know. Whoa. Act normal. Oh, look, gambling, drinking, normal non-teen things. No one notices you, everything is fine. Just be cool, don't be afraid, someone will catch you. Sure do enjoy adult entertainment. Excuse me. But hey, you're a teenager like me. But I'm scared too. I, I really just need someone else to connect please. to. Someone who snuck in. Someone who's tired of sneaking around. Please. I just need you to know. I understand. Oh, uh, guards, guards! It's a teenager. Oh, uh, Get her out of here. She's ruining this for all of us, adults. You suck. 
Really? Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna get him later. Really? Hey, you. Nosy kid. Only concerned about your health. Yeah, well, guess what? I quit. Wouldn't be able to sit in the non-smoking section if I didn't. Saved a ton of money by cutting back, too. Oh, wow. How much are we talking? 800. Count it yourself. It's yours. Thanks a lot for the pointers. It's nice to be cared about. Hey, I didn't do it for the money. I did it for the concern for your well-being. All right. I will take the money, though. Yeah. Spend it on whatever you want, except smokes. Ah, braised rabbit's foot. The ultimate lucky charm. All right. Monstrosa? I love that band. Feels damp. What are you? Hey. Lucky Penny. Where was this before I was dragged across the country to save my family's business? Going back to that kid. How much do we need? Yeah. We thought you were against us in the beginning, Rad Ghost. Well, Alicey, the way I see it is that this is a morally complex issue. And moral complexity is a chance to reflect on what our values really are. What Rad Ghost learned is. No one messes with Allie and Linda. Rad. Didn't know I needed to pump up that bad, Rad Ghost. Thanks a lot. Yeah. No problemo, Alice. By the way, you might want to check out the woman having a rad time by herself at the bar. Maybe. She looks like she knows some stuff. Please. So I'll be checking the bar in a bit. Ooh, I got the mind face paint again. I'm going to use this makeup to intimidate that punk that got me in trouble. Huh? Are you supposed to be in here? Uh -oh. Hi, um... Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I'm just a high school student. I, I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. Hey, wait. Aren't you a teenager, hmm? too? Absolutely not. Uh -huh. I'm undercover. Hmm? You'll have to hand over your winnings, youngster. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. Please, please don't tell my swim coach. There we go. And that is called revenge. I'm gonna get this crap off my face. Wait, is that a... It comes with a beard! Oh, that's fun. Next time I need a cover. Ah, yeah. Hey there, little guy. You gonna make me feel lucky today? Yeah. Care to buy me a drink? What? Maybe. What's in it for me? Yes. I'll tell you a secret, of course. Huh? Sure. What will you have? Aww. I think for my first drink, I'll have a Ralph's Burger any scrap. Uh, first drink, uh, Ralph's Burger any scrap. What? Okay. Welcome to the Casino Huckster. Hey, thanks. Great to be here. Wearing this new suit. Can you make change? Of course. Happy to help any of our high rollers. How can I help you? Can you break a uh, hundred? I'm sorry, but due to a casino policy, I'm only authorized to break thousand dollar bills. It seems that some people use smaller bills as an opportunity to distract and hustle a little extra off the change maker. Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. I am shocked. Me too. That's why they put me here. I'm incredibly focused. So, can I help you break a thousand dollar bill? Hmm, that might be tricky. Alright! Let's do this! Sure thing! 
100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Here you are. Thanks. I, uh, I told you. I like to be focused. Have a great day. A serious, stern, focused day. Hmm. I'm going to need to do something ridiculous to break that kind of focus. Interesting. I am going to wear this fedora forever. All right, where's the bar? All right. Good. <laughs> How do you even play poker? I know! Let me play poker! a listen spot nearby. I used to work for this guy that owns this place, you know? You got a minute for me to tell you a story? Oh, should I stick around? What harm gonna do? He's a real piece of work. Hmm. Had us do a lot of moving into little towns, finding businesses that were on the rocks. Speaking of, can I get another top-up? He'd get us to find some place that was about to go under, put the muscle on him, get him into a loan system, high interest, no prospects. And then he'd start shopping the place around to a bigger store. Bean spirits and video videovilles, generic clothing stores. It's this whole thing. Thing is, those little chain shops, they're big companies. They're popping up everywhere. But they don't know he's doing the same thing to them that he's doing to these little guys. He scares a little store into closing so he can flip it into a bigger store. And eventually he turns around and scares them into selling it to one of these big box stores. You've seen them. They sell toilet paper and VCRs. Nobody at any level knows that Ricky is just waiting to screw him over to the next folks up the chain. He keeps doing it, and there ain't nobody to stop him. Hmm. That's... actually an interesting scam. Uh... Well, you have... I'd like something called a Ralph's Burger Any Scrap? A what? Stop it. Ralph's Burger Any Scrap? You're just saying nonsense words. No. It was what I was asked for. I can make a Hapsbury Alley Cat, a Raspberry Alley Cat, or a Raspberry Jelly Cat. What? Why are they all so similar? What? Look, there's like 90 cocktails on this list and they all have a different type of juice in them. Do you want one or not? Uh -huh. No Ralph's Burger any scrap. I'll take a... Raspberry Alley Cat, I guess? <gasps> Wait, are you just going to carry this in your fanny pack? <laughs> hey, I don't tell you how to do your job. Hmm? Come on. Well, finally, I'm so thirsty. Here's your drink. Totally. Hey, that's my drink. Raspberry Alley Cat. Thanks. Ugh. That's not what you said it was called. Here, fair is fair. Let me tell you a secret. Gotta focus. Focus. Ahem. Okay. You ever play slots? I've dabbled. Mm -hmm. Odds are one in a million. You know what that means? Uh -huh. That there's a nine in ten chance that it will happen? You know what it means? You gotta game it. You ever see those little slits in the back of the machines? Uh -huh. Might be able to slip a wire down there and gum up to works. You can hear from me though. Well, come on. Oh, that was exhausting. Can you use a drink? <laughs> All right. Maybe. Is there one of these machines specifically I can rig? Yeah. 
or is it telling me I need to get a wire first? Maybe. Well. Room 777. I mean, that's got to grant me a little bit of luck, right? Let's see if she's got any other wisdom for me. Yes. The next thing I'm gonna have to, a San Martino Sundry. Can you enunciate a little better this time? No, I'm afraid I simply cannot. Uh, well, you I have. Oh, it's you again, Fanny Pack Girl. I reject this nickname. Can I get something called a Sam Martino Sundried? It's not on the menu, is yeah. it? It's not on the menu, no. I can give you a Slammerino Sunrise, a San Trapino su Surprise, or a Dan Martino Surprise. I'm gonna go with the first one. A Slammerino Sunrise. Mm. Here you go. Back in the fanny pack. <laughs> now you're getting it. Please? Please. Here's your drink. Woohoo! Ooh, a Slammerino Sunrise. Just what I ordered. Yep. Couldn't have done it without you, I guess. All right. Hell, you know what? Not your secret. Yeah, gotta stabilize. So, like... Are you playing cards at Brad. all? No, gambling what? isn't cool. Or that's what the PSAs keep telling me. Well, if you were to play cards, you'd know what the dealer have to throw out decks they're done using. Come here. Makes it harder to count cards. What? Is it harder to count cards because they're all in the garbage? You're cute. Anyway. Oh no, I'm fading. No way. Dealers throw out cards when they're done with them. Queen of Diamonds. My kind of lady. Oh! Oh my! Three aces! Must relax. Poker face. Do you mind? I'm playing a rather exciting hand. Yeah, but if you're quiet, I can make it more exciting. Woo! Queen of Diamonds, and you cut me in on your winnings. Deal? What? I'm not about to risk the best hand of my life on a cheat, thank you. Oh, shoot. I did I didn't understand what was about to happen. I'm gonna need to find some more stuff. Uh. All spades. Seven, eight, nine, and jack. Maybe the next hand will be better. That's a really good hand. Or almost a really good hand. It's one card off from being a good hand. Come on. Oh. Ace of Hearts. Super dramatic, don't you think? You know what? Lose the hat for a minute. Come on, I didn't play. All right. Ace of Hearts, and you cut me in on your winnings, deal? That would give me four aces. Shh, quickly, quietly. Here, take this and get out of here. Yeah. Keep that poker face on. Nine, ten, jack, and a king. Not much to do here. Shh, I'm concentrating. I don't think concentration is going to make those what? cards any better, but I can. Yeah. Queen of diamonds, and you cut me in on your winnings. Deal? That would give me a straight. Okay, okay, but don't tell anyone. Shh. Yeah. Our little secret. There's gotta be at least one more card in one of these. If you like to gamble, I guess this card is fine. The Ten of Spades. The Ten of Spades. Yeah, that guy's about to have a very good hand. 
Who was it? It was this guy. I can publicly see you're losing. How about a little help? Yes! Ten of spades and you cut me in on your winnings. Deal? That would give me a straight flush. Shh! Keep it quiet. Our little secret. Oh, well. Nice. What am I up to? Holy crap! I've done well. Figure out if I where I can rig one of these. Hmm. Finally, a weapon to defend myself against. Oh, who am I kidding? I could probably find something cool to cut, though. Drunk lady, she's giving me some good tips so far. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I need a handsy pants man. You know. I'm gonna just assume you're saying this wrong uh -huh. too. Safe assumption. Hi, uh, I'm handsy pants man. No. I don't know. A handsy pants man. What do you have? A fancy dance man? A pantsy pants okay. man? Oh, no, I have a handsy pants man. Here. Huh? Well. All right then. Please. Hmm? Here's your drink. Yeah. Can't believe there was actually a drink called a handsy pants man. All right. What? Like I would lie? What? You've been nothing but truthful so far. Totally. I ain't got one more secret. I. I am sorry. Uh -huh. One fifteen thousand seventy-five dollars. Yikes! One fifteen thousand seventy-five dollars. Oh, no, you didn't. Did I stutter? Okay. I think I just need to get a Please. cab. Please. Spot me twenty bucks for cab. Here you go. Get home yes. safe. Yes. Hey, remember this, will ya? What's that? Woohoo! Be good to people. Haha, <laughs> I got to 15,075. <sighs> hmm? Yes. What? All right. Well, I have the money I need to get upstairs. More than enough money to get upstairs. I really wanted to figure out the slot machine though. They said that the one that it's possible to rig one of the yeah. slots. But I'd also need a wire. Oh. Oh. Thanks, it snapped pretty fast. Yes. Did the music actually change after I did that? Hey, I can hack the slot machine with that piano wire I got. Okay, let's see. Not really sure what I'm feeling around for here. How do I know if it works? Probably hear some sort of subtle sound or something. Like a little click or a clunk or. <laughs> hey, I can hack the slot, uh, slot machine with that piano wire I got. Ho oh, ho! I am yeah. rolling in it now. Uh huh. All right. Huh? What? All 
right. I am loaded. Something ridiculous to break his focus. Can't think of much more ridiculous than this. Hey, thanks. Great to be here. Wearing this new suit. Can you make change? Of course. Happy to help any of our high rollers. How can I help you? Can you break a uh, hundred? Nope. Same as before. Let's do this. Sure thing. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do there. I am going to go for it. I hate this place, but this guy is pretty cute. Can I help you? Good evening, miss. Hi, I just need to go up to the stairway for a sec. Absolutely. we will be a thousand dollar buy-in to enter the high roller suite. Of course, I... Have it right here, my good man. Wonderful. Right this way, miss. Do I give you the money? Oh no, that's just a buy-in for the high roller games. Games that I will definitely be playing and giving my money to. <laughs> This has where I'm supposed to go vibes. All right, who should I phone? Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? What? Mom? Allie? Allie, is that you? What time is it? Is everything all right? Anyway. Yes, Mom, everything is all right. I just wanted to hear your voice, that's all. Sorry for calling so late. Hi. Hear my voice? Are you dying? Are you in trouble? I'll be there in two hours. Hour and a half. I'll speed. No, Mom. I'm on my way. No, Mom, don't. I'm fine. Oh, okay. You can't just call me this late and tell me you need to hear my voice, Allie. It's too dramatic. Look, Mom, don't freak out, but... The bus is going to be late coming back from band camp. I'm not sure what time I'm going to make it home tomorrow, okay? Is that why you need to call me at 1 o'clock in the morning? Need is such a strong word. We'll figure it out when you get on the bus. We always figure it out. I love you, Mom. I know. Sleep well. Huh? Hello? Anyone in there? Go, go away. Leave me alone with my what? things. Your things, huh? What? Hello? Anyone in there? Hey, are you the collector? So what if I am? What of it? I was once. Who knows what I am what? now? You okay, man? Sounds like you're doing a lot of sniffling in there. What? Yeah, like that. What happened? My life. My collection. It's all a failure. <laughs> I'm a failure. Come on. No, you're not. You're an accomplished collector of weird things. I spent my whole life collecting, and no matter what I've amassed, I couldn't gather a few simple friends to come to a... to a... hotel birthday party. Ouch. Collector, that sounds really harsh. 
You threw yourself a birthday party and nobody came? No one. I just wanted to feel fortunate enough to have friends. And I have nothing. Cool. Dude, you want to feel fortunate? You're in a casino. There's lucky things all around you. I know I've been a fan of wordplay in the past, but you understand I don't mean this kind of luck. Wait, I think I've got an idea. <laughs> what is it? Maybe. Something to make you feel lucky. Do I have something to make you feel lucky? Check this guy out. A little lucky lion. Cool. I bet he makes you feel pretty lucky. Huh? Yes, but... Bad. Are you feeling lucky yet? I'm sure there's even more where that came from. Yeah. I can probably find three more things. Wait. Well, uh... Something to make you feel lucky. Do I have something to make you feel lucky? How about a nice shiny lucky penny? Huh? Guaranteed to make you feel luck, or at the very least, make your pocket damp. I guess that sounds... Yeah. Are you feeling lucky yet? I'm sure there's even more where that came from. Woo. I'm sure there's two more lucky things down there. Wait. Yeah. Something to make you feel lucky. Do I have something to make you feel lucky? How about this? They say a rabbit's foot is good luck. Well, I got you a braised rabbit's foot. Rad. You want to feel like the luckiest guy here? You just eat this. Whoa. All right. Are you feeling lucky yet? I'm sure there's even more where that All came right. from. One more lucky thing. One more. Wait. Yeah. Something to make you feel lucky. I have something to make you feel lucky. Look at this! Room key 777! Three sevens! Okay. That's gotta be lucky, right? Yikes. I'm not saying you'll get lucky or anything. I don't know who's in this room. Aww. This might have been an awkward one. Really, it's... Cool. Are you feeling lucky yet? <laughs> Thank you. Good show. Thank you, seriously, sincerely, superlatively. You have made this strange old collector feel taken care of on this day. But I must ask, why? You seem sad. I... I just thought it was the right thing to do. Cheer you up, I mean. There's one thing that traveling the country and grifting people has taught me. It's that it's kind of vital to laugh every once in a while. I do appreciate this. Thank you, Allie. Oh, Allie. Allie, my name is... Yeah. Yes? My name is... Well done. Kim. <laughs> huh. Not gonna lie, I expected something along the lines of Nebuchadnezzar. Ne oh, yeah, Nebuchadnezzar or Rumpelstiltskin. No, no, just Kim. Well, it's good to meet you, Kim. You too, Ali. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have prepared a party for myself and I intend to enjoy it. Would you like to come in? Huh? Nah, I've got this vendetta I need to settle with a couple mobsters and a crappy 20 somethings lost boy. Yes. You take care, though. I shall, adventurer. Good luck. That was very... That was nice. I like that a lot. Weird how this makes me nostalgic for home. Hmm. Doesn't look like Esme is waiting in the stairwell. I'll leave this unlocked for Esme. All up to me in the meantime. Oh. Moment of truth. They'll never recognize me in my hat. Bet it tastes gross. Listen, Ricky, just a minute of your time. I told you, I got a lot of meetings today, Teddy. Uh, it's Ted. Look, I've got something in this briefcase for you. Uh, it's even more than I promised you. Teddy, Ted, whatever it is, that's great. You wait downstairs and I'll send my boys down there to get you when I've got some time. Okay? Grifondo will, here will handle your briefcase. Don't worry, Griff. Doesn't look too heavy. Uh. Okay, you got it. Sorry.
like this guy should not see me. Nothing obvious here. I don't want to talk to him yet. Let's talk. Let's see if I can track down this Grifondo guy. <laughs> All right, where is he with my money? There he is. Hmm. Can't seem to see Esme from up here, though. Gonna need to take care of this myself. Huh? Quietly. Or much louder and directly to his face. confront him I'm at extremely high risk hmm I was hoping I could pick either his pocket or the other guys seem to pick his pocket. Let's confront him. Hey, Tiger. Okay. Oh, hello, Ted. Uh. What are you doing here? Oh, should I be dead in the desert motel room? My bad. Hey, listen. Yes. It's just business. <gasps> business. Uh. I saw my shot and I took it. You of all people should understand. <gasps> I should understand? What? I understand because you taught me to understand. You took my money. I want it back. Mm. I can't do that, Allie. <laughs> Besides, you wouldn't have it if it wasn't for me. So really, it's mine, you know? Maybe. All right, then I have a business proposition for you. <gasps> Give me that money, and I won't clobber you. Uh. Oh, come on, Tiger. You wouldn't have anything if it weren't for me. Huh. It's my money because I spent my time taking care of you. I taught you how to grab wallets, how to talk to people. Yes. I showed you half the country. What? And you robbed me. <laughs> Look, I have an idea. I propose a little contest. Mm. I win, I keep the money. You win, you keep the money. It's easy. What kind of contest? A race. First to $20,000. Nothing off limits, no rules. You just have to stay in the casino. Wow. Have to stay in the casino, huh? Whoever gets it first and waits for the other at the fountain by the piano gets the briefcase. <gasps> You're on. Right. You sure, Tiger? I taught you everything you know. I can probably rustle up 20 grand in one, grand in one lap of this whole casino. Right. Ted, if someone accepts a challenge, don't ask them if they're sure. It just makes them angry. I got enough money. I need to get to that piano. That's what I thought. I already I raised 35,000 before I even did this. Where you been, Ted? I've been waiting for hours. Well done, Tiger. Looks like I taught you everything I know. No, you don't get to take credit for this. I won the contest. 
Me. I. Got the 20,000. Fair and square. Well, as fair as it could be. Not bad, Allie. Not bad. Uh-oh. Esme's coming over. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to tell Ted to leave. Not bad. Nothing off limits, right? So I won the contest. The money is mine. Listen, fair's... F but I don't ever want to hear your voice again. You're not worth hearing out. You're not worth turning in, and you're not worth losing sleep over. Run away now, and I won't call the cops. Well? What do you say, Ted? You want to make some noise? Didn't think so. How are you holding up, kid? Esme! I looked for you upstairs and didn't see you. Sorry, blood sugar low. Did you get your money back? Yeah, I got it. No Ted, though. Okay. I already forgot about him. Come on, Esme. Let's go get some justice. my money. Time to go see Ricky. I think I figured it out. Yeah? Figured what out? Hmm. You're Linda's girl, aren't you? <laughs> How is your mother? Ooh. She and I, we could have been quite an item, you know? I could have taken. I have taken care of her. She knows when she needs anything, she can come to me. I guess in a way, I've taken care of you too. Trombone, was it? Linda says you're quite good. Uh, Gross. What? Look, I want to mess around. I'm here to pay you back for the lien on the on our video store. I've got it all. Hmm. Now why would I want to get rid of a prime property like that? Yeah. Because I know how you work, Ricky. I know you may sell my store to a videoville, but you're just going to turn around and sell them to a, some bigger store. I bet you they wouldn't like hearing that. Yeah, right, like they'd listen to you. What are you going to do? Phone them? Why not? Mm -hmm. Who's to say I don't have the CEO's number? Mm -hmm. How do you know I didn't meet your client that buys land for videoville? What do you want? The deed to our video store and our loan forgiven. Now. Fine. Uh, you can have it. See if uh, I can. She'll need me. Again. I know it. And maybe one day she'll see what I can offer her. I... As promising as that sounds, Ricky, we don't need you. <laughs> you and your mother, you're exactly the same. Is that some kind of an insult? Yes! Besides, you've forgotten one what? thing. Well, uh... That thing is... Where is she? What? Not the stairwell. What's taking well... so long? What? Aww. For someone that talks so much, you'd think I'd be better at stalling. Stupid stairs! <gasps> you heard the detective! Stupid... Stairs? Aww. I mean, ahem. You should probably just do this, Esme. Ricky, you're under arrest. <sighs> you! Have you come to finish the job? Pantsing you? No. Ricky, you're going to jail for racketeering and extortion. <laughs> oh, that's a lot worse. I thought today couldn't get much worse. <laughs> I stepped in dog do, almost got hit by lightning. Uh, My wish! Ha 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 ha! I wish for it! Holy crap, I wish for that! That's great! Then you had to come along and just make it that little extra bit worse, didn't you, girly? Listen close, huh? kid. Tell your mom. <laughs> Pass. Woo! Bye, Ricky. Be a stranger, will ya? <laughs> I made more than double what I needed. All 
right. You did it, rad girl. No. I guess I kind of did, huh? Oh, you know you did, Ali C. You're the raddest, coolest, most video store saving his gal in all of Lisbon County. Come on. You think so, Rad Ghost? Yeah. Now, you know what Rad Ghost is going to say to that? Huh? That I imagine you and everything that you're saying is actually just things I think? Well, you know it, Ali C. <laughs> I'm the raddest, coolest, most video store savingest gal in all of Lisbon County. <laughs> Rad, yeah. yeah. Rad Ghost says celebrate your achievements. Speaking of, it's kind of weird to be back after seeing all that country, the crime, the horn. Uh -huh. Sit with it a minute, Ali C. I'm sure Lady Linda will be ready for you when you want to go see her. Yes. Thanks, Rad Ghost. Right. Thank you, Ali C. Maybe. For never doing drugs. So. Stay rad, Rad Ghost. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Is everybody wearing periwinkle? I believe she read it live hard for. Ah, uh, this game has a great sense of humor. You! It's you! All right. Me! Yeah, it's me! What are we doing? All right. I played the aristocrat yeah. in Las Venganza, and I couldn't have done it without your help. Bad. Awesome! Show me one of those jokes! Yes! Okay, okay. I get on stage and I say, <laughs> Las Venganza? More like Lost of Funza! Because Las Venganza is a casino town and people lose a lot of money. Now I got it, very clearly. Anyways, thanks for helping me get there. I feel like I should apologize for that to that audience. I'm funny now. I can feel it. That's cute. Yeah. Great to see you too, Mitch. Yeah. Hey, Allie's home. Sure am, Grenda. Mitch and I have some news, you know. Oh? Yeah. Well, it started because we read this story in the newspaper. Some guy traveled halfway across the country to meet a pen pal partner he'd never met before. Mm -hmm. They got married in Las Venganza, and now they're touring the world, seeing everything together. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever read. Yeah. Anyways, we read that, and we got to talking, and, well, we're gonna get married. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. I'm so excited for you two. Wow. Mitch and Grenda together at last. You know, I always knew this would happen. What? Allie Gross! Uh -huh. And he said we want to, want to get married. Not to each other. Yet. We just have made the decision to both eventually get married. Uh -huh. I guess nothing ever really happens here after uh -huh. all. Ha! Uh -huh. Mitch and I. Ha! Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. Now, if you'll excuse me, Allie, we've got husbands to watch out for. This is an, a big one. Hey. <laughs> Back from my cross-country adventure. I guess. I got a little worried about you. Anyway. Thanks. So, I guess we should talk about the thing? How you have feelings for me or whatever? Anyway. Guess so. I feel like you're my best friend and I missed you and I'm so happy that you're home. Is that okay for right now? Of course it is, dumbass. All right. I'm glad I didn't make it weird. Allie, you make most things weird. That's really never been your weakness. What? Well then, sorry I didn't make it weirder. Huh? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I shut you out. Thanks, apology accepted. Sorry I became a criminal for like a week. Turns out Haley's pretty intense, by the way. I could have told you that. Is it okay if we're best friends again? I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. Something tells me I could use a friend. What? So, do we kiss now or? Right. Allie? Yeah. Kidding, kidding. Is being lovable weird me? It's good to have you home. Okay, that ended all right. Hello again. Listen, kid, I've had a long day. You don't want to talk about stickers? All right, fine, let's talk about stickers. No, 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 it's fine, we don't have to. No one ever does. Everyone calls me weird. They say it's too weird to like stickers this much. Oh boy. All right, kid, listen. It's not weird to love something. Huh? 
Plus, if I can say one thing for certain after the week I've had, it's that weird collectors of weird things seem to get by just fine. But if anyone ever tells you that something you love makes you weird, Rad. they are objectively wrong. Got it? Uh, okay. Now look, I've got 25 stickers here. Really? Yep, they're from all across the country. Can I, can I have them? Yeah. Sure can, kid. Here. What? Is this $3? It's important to spend money on the things you love if they make you happy. At least that's what my uncle always says. Your uncle's a smart guy. <laughs> and you're not as weird as I thought. No one ever is. Deep. That kid's uncle. I bet it's Kim. I bet it's the pawn, guy, the pawn shop guy. Hey there, Allie. How was Kim? Aww. Just between us girls, Gina. Didn't know we had that kind of relationship, but all right. Boys are the worst. I can always count on myself and sometimes strangers. Tickets for the Heartlands Hormline are incredibly overpriced. Uh, pawn shops are probably a scam. Horm is everywhere. Kids cry when you steal things from them. When someone says they want peace and quiet, they mean it. Cacti have magical powers and I look great in a suit. Oh, is that all? That's all I'm ready to gossip about, yeah. All right then. Doesn't answer the question of how was it, though, what does it? Oh, fine, I guess. Maybe tomorrow you can tell me some more secrets. Just between us girls. Whoa, let's not move too fast here. Good to have you back, Allie. Ah, uh, this game is cute. <laughs> I'm showing I have money because I have $3. Hey, Ali, band camp over already? Aww. Yeah, Ron, band camp is over. Well, it's good to have you back once and floor all. Huh? Neat. Hey? Huh? All right. Hey? Floor all? What? Awesome. Floor all? What? You know, yes. that's pretty good, Ron. Been working on it all week. Have a good day, Z. Get it? <laughs> ah, that guy's fun. <laughs> Checking to see if I can pick pockets. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I want to go to the video store last. Uh, what the? Uh, Bean what? Spirit? I traveled across the country for one measly life changing adventure and two scoops is closed? Mm. Ahem. The country's leading coffee mm. chain, Bean Spirit, mm. is opening its first location right here in Lisbon uh. County. We are looking for engaged mm. coffee technicians to help meet uh. customers' needs at mm. the world's first global uh. coffee chain. What? Okay, first of all, this is neither exciting nor is it an opportunity. All right. Oh, <laughs> good, you're cool and normal. All right. I promise I'll stop trying to sell you on it. Mm? Secondly, what happened to Jeff's? I feel like it was open and functional a week uh. ago. The rat problem might have been the final straw for the two scoops, I'm sorry to say. Uh -huh. But it's also inevitable, I think. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I just mean to say it's not easy for mom and pop businesses, that's all. Hey. I think you'll see a few more bean spirits in the next couple of years. Come on. You're telling me. A girl who just spent her week trying to save a mom and pop business. Uh -huh. Well, no pop, daughter. What? Mom and dot. You run the video store? Yeah. yeah. Been running every night <laughs> since bean spirit posted me all up right. there for new recruits. Cool place. <laughs> You have so many copies of Alligator Banshee Goes to Camp 5. You'd be surprised. You ever get worried you'll get bean spirited? What? Wait, like a video bill will show up while I'm on vacation? Take away everything? Yeah. Come to think of it? I don't know. Uh -huh. That's fair. Uh -huh. This is supposed to be an exciting moment for me, you know? Coming home. Hey, don't let me ruin Please. it. Your first coffee's on me when this place opens. A little Aww. celebration for coming home. Aww. Thanks. Okay. Guess we'll see you around. That was kind of cute. Okay. Oh, hey, Allie. What? Yeah. Hey, Haley. You hanging out yeah. with the smokers now? Yeah, oh. but I don't sm uh, hey. Yeah, but I don't smoke anymore. Yeah. Anymore? Uh, yeah. I got to up like three yep. packs a day for a bit there. Okay. Haley, it's been like a yeah. week. All right. But then I heard uh -huh. all this stuff about how cigarettes are like bad okay. for you. They're like made of horn yeah. and kill brain cells and what? stuff. Yep. Come to think of it, I've heard uh -huh. this myself. All I'm trying yeah. to say is people can change, Allie. Hey. Well, who's going on the other hey. side of this argument? Who is on the other side of this yeah. argument you're having? Whatever. Uh -huh. Whatever indeed. Yeah. Is yeah. that guy glitched? 
Okay, hopefully that stopped that from happening. Okay. Nope, it didn't, hey. but I think I've officially talked to everyone. Uh -huh. Oh, let me check the back alley. Hey. Hey, it's you. Did you did you follow me home? You follow me so I can keep you? What? Wait, no, I can't keep you. You're a human being. I think. Hey, I have a question. Why do you act like a mouse? It's none of my business, really. Just curious. Yeah, fair, I hear you. Society's really stacked against us as individuals. Well yeah, it's hard to make it on your own. Having a unique identifier can really mean a lot of social and economic worth. Right? Capitalism. Okay. Right back at you, mouse girl. Well, I... Wait, don't run away. I feel like there's so much we can learn from each other. Yee! Uh, I liked her. Okay. Brad. The popcorn yeah. machine. It got yeah. fixed! My wish! Woo! It came true. I guess. Mom? What's this? Dearest Allie, from one adventurer to another, I hope this helps you build a collection of your own. And there's $5,000 in here? That weird old dude. Wow. Oh, gross. It's my lifetime supply of horn. Hey. Hmm. Oh, you're home. I've been up all night. Are you okay? What? Did anyone hurt you? Are you hurt? Aww. I'm fine, Mom. I was pretty angry, huh? I guess. Maybe I still am. Listen, Allison. Uh, I. Before we what before we discuss what might be the single be the greatest grounding of a single individual in human history, yeah? it's gonna be epic, I bet. No. I'm sorry I didn't tell you what was going on. Uh. I'm sorry I risked the store and hid it from you. Sorry that I tried to act like everything was okay. And most of all, I'm sorry that I made you feel like you have to fix it all. I just wanted to give you a chance that I didn't have. This is my chance, Mom. What? This store, film, I don't know, running a business, this means everything to me. I don't want Juniper. I don't want the trombone. Right. I want to grow here. I want to make something rad out of this place. Really? But Allie, you can't just work in this store for the rest of your life. Please. I built this place as a last resort. You can do great things. Mm. My biggest fear is that you'll end up like me. Okay, first of all, I have a good authority that I am very much like you. Okay, fine. Maybe I don't work here for the rest of my life. But this is the place I want to be right now. I love being around movies and solving problems. I want to do this. Until it's time to figure out the next thing, anyway. Huh? Okay. What? Okay? Come on. Okay. Thanks for telling me. There's not going to be much of a store to help run by the end of this week. I... But I promise we'll start again. We'll rent tapes of people out of the back of our car if you have to. No. Uh, Mom? What? I just... Uh... I wouldn't be so sure that we'll need to do uh -huh. that. What do you mean? Well, after I got the deed back from Ricky, I might kind of sort of still have $212,067 left over. Oh. Bye. Maybe. Okay, Allison, you are definitely going to be grounded, mm -hmm. but $212,067? We could get the sign repainted. Mm -hmm. Get a full set of new releases for the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. We could take a vacation. Please. Hell, we could start making our own movies. All right. Not too bad, huh? That is a lot of money, but you're going to figure out how to get it back to people. Ugh. What? Mom? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you upset that I'm not letting you keep the money you traveled across the country stealing? No. Besides, hey, look at huh? me. We don't need it. We're gonna be okay. You and I are gonna be okay. Yes. Okay, Mom. Good. Now tonight, as part of your punishment, I pick the movie. It's gonna be boring. All right. That sounds all right to me. And tomorrow, you can start figuring out how to get this money back to the people that it belongs to. Deal? Deal? What? Yeah. You can count on me.
just going to sit and enjoy this music for a while. No thanks to COVID-19. Sassy. Mighty Yell will return. Hey, I hope they do. I definitely want to see more games by them. I appreciate you sitting through the credits with me. I always like a good credit sequence. Uh, it feels like a celebration that I finished the game. All right, that was the big con. Thank you very much for joining me for this game. I had a great time with it. Uh, it is, yeah, as you said, that was different. Pretty neat though. That's a great way to describe it. Uh, I am very happy that this one came across my radar uh, and had a great time playing it. So that's gonna wrap it for the big con. Please consider checking this game out yourself. There's definitely stuff I didn't find uh, and all kind, probably all the alternate ways that certain things could go. So I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. So until next time, rock on guys and never stop drawing.